Hey there, Psych2Goers, welcome back to the channel. Did you know that it takes about 21 days to form a habit? Wow, imagine how many habits you might've picked up over the years. Some of those habits might be healthy and life-changing, but there might be a few habits that are toxic and not as good for you or the surrounding people. In today's video, let's find out more about habits that might be toxic. So with that said, here are five toxic habits to avoid in life. Number one, gossiping. If you know, you know. Dishing or tattling, call it what you want. Gossip is idle talk or rumor, especially about the personal or private affairs of others. Many may have participated in gossiping in some way or the other. Although it is impossible to never have negative thoughts about something or someone, you can control what you do with these thoughts. A good alternative to saying it out loud might be to write down all your thoughts in a notebook or on your phone or tapping into your voice recorder and speaking your mind out. A word of caution though, don't let it fall into prying hands. Number two, not forgiving yourself. Ugh, everyone makes mistakes at some stage of life or another, period. But to find happiness, you must be able to let go. The consequences of those mistakes do not define you. Mistake being a main word here. Forgive yourself and learn to walk through the pain of your past mistakes. Hanging on to these harmful feelings indefinitely negatively impacts your mental health. Only one thing is certain, they leave behind lessons. It's important to learn to laugh when things go wrong because sometimes they will. Self-forgiveness is the intentional preservation of inner peace and a reflection of a healthy self-concept. When you acknowledge your faults, affirm your emotions, take responsibility, discover your inspiration, consider the lessons you've learned, set clear boundaries, treat yourself with love, compassion, and gratitude, and make amends as needed. You're being human. Number three, blaming. It's easy to blame your actions on someone else, but is that the right way to go? Everyone likes to indulge in a good challenge every now and then, so why not challenge yourself to own up to what you might have said or done? The next time you find yourself in a situation where you wanna blame your doings on someone else, take a step back. Analyze why you wanna blame someone else. Recognize why it's easier to do so, and then think of a way to own up to your doings. Number four, trying to please everyone. Do you often find yourself doing something just to make someone else happy? Sure, doing something just to make someone happy is admirable and important at times, but not at the cost of yourself. Most of the time, the issue is your inability to say no. If you can't say no to the wrong things, you won't be able to say yes to the ventures, people, and opportunities that excite you. Saying yes to others often means saying no to yourself. It's important to recognize your worth. Remind yourself of your goals and the steps necessary to achieve them. The first step, however, is to figure out what you want to achieve. You must be conscious of your life's mission, ambitions, and objectives in order to ensure nothing deters you from your own path. Number five, drinking and or smoking. How often do you drink or smoke? While the long-term effects of combining alcohol and tobacco are still being investigated, preliminary research indicates that mixing the two substances can have severe and long-term health consequences. This may be because the alcohol dissolves the chemicals in your cigarette when it is still in the mouth. Carcinogens can get trapped against the sensitive tissues of the throat as a result of this, increasing the risk of fatal diseases. And there is no count of the amount of damage it has on one's daily functioning. Exercise, meditation, or a healthy diet are just some ways to help beat stress in a healthier way. Breaking out of habits is a behemoth of a task. You can't break free in a day. It would require constant conscious effort. Baby steps in the right direction help you further along towards your goal. You may encounter frustration at the lack of results, but that is no excuse to give up. You are making the effort. As they say, well begun is half done. Do you have any of these habits? If so, do you think this video helped you recognize them? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there using or being subjected to these habits. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.